Hi, I'm Dr. Trent Richards here at the Tanner Clinic. I just wanted to take a minute today to teach you a little bit about cataracts, what to expect as they form, how we can take care of them, and then also a little bit of how, what to expect when it comes time for the surgery, how long it'll take, how long the recovery process will be. A cataract basically is a cloudiness of your natural lens inside your eye. This typically happens with age, however it can happen from birth. There are some patients that have had cataracts ever since birth. In your case, I'm sure it's happened with age. And basically just think of it as your lens that ins that's inside of your eye has become cloudy with age. That cloudy lens now makes it hard for you to focus and see. A nice way to think about a cataract is to think of it almost like a lens on a camera. Okay? If your camera lens becomes dirty, the image quality is going to decrease. And that's basically what happens when you, get a, when you get a cataract. So what you may notice initially with cataracts is typically patients notice at nighttime when they're driving, they get a lot of glare from headlights. They also may notice that colors in general just aren't as crisp and clear as they used to be, or the image quality is just not as good as it used to be. The time to take care of cataracts is when that starts to bother you or it starts to affect your life. Once it is bothering you, we can easily take care of it with cataract surgery and think of it as almost a lens replacement surgery. Okay, just like we can do knee replacements or hip replacements, this is a lens replacement. When we do the lens replacement, we have an opportunity to actually go in and measure your eye so that we can hopefully put a nice new lens in that will allow you to see really well without glasses. And the calculations that we use here at our clinic are very accurate. We have some of the newest and greatest technology to have actually measure your eyes so that we can get great results after surgery. With cataract surgery, we'll make a small incision into the eye so that we can then go in where the cataract is. We'll take the cataract out using some ultrasound and vacuum energy and then replace that lens that we have removed with a nice new plastic lens which will stay in the eye where the old lens used to be. During your preoperative evaluation, we will use this latest technology to measure your eye and then talk with you about lens options. Insurance covers a standard lens option that if you do not have astigmatism or any other abnormalities on your eye, it should give you great vision at distance, but you definitely will need reading glasses. The alternative is you could actually choose to have great vision at near, but then need glasses to be able to see at distance. And that is what the lens that insurance companies cover will provide. If you would like to be able to see glasses free at distance and near and be able to have great vision without depending on glasses, that is an option, but you will have to pay out of pocket for that lens. Unfortunately, insurance companies look at that lens as being a cosmetic part of the procedure and they will not cover that lens. So this multifocal lens does do a great job at allowing you to function throughout the day without glasses. It does not, however, give you vision similar to what you had when you were 20 years old where you can see perfectly clear at any distance. It is more of a functional range of vision that allows you to see really well at distance, into the computer distance, and even be able to read up close. But sometimes when people are reading for a long period of time, they still will put on readers. Not everybody, but some patients still will put on readers when they're reading. The third option with a lens is an astigmatism correcting lens. So if your eye has a lot of astigmatism, the normal lens that insurance pays for will not correct that. And astigmatism basically is when your eye is more of a football shape instead of a basketball shape. So one direction is a little bit steeper than the other. If we do not correct that, then the, vi the image is blurry and the vision is not perfect. If you want to correct the astigmatism at the time of surgery, it is possible with this lens, but it is not covered by the insurance, and that is another out-of-pocket cost. If you don't want to pay for this extra out-of-pocket cost, then your vision still will be greatly improved with cataract surgery. You just will need glasses to be able to perfectly see. The last option that we have when we do cataract surgery as far as lens replacements go is that of monovision. And in monovision, we put one eye for distance, which is typically your dominant eye, and then we make the non-dominant eye be able to focus up close. 
That way between the two eyes, you are able to see at distance and near and not be as dependent on glasses. This works best when you've actually tried it beforehand to make sure that you do like it and that your brain can adapt to it. I would say about 75% of the time when patients try it, they do adapt to it and they do like it, but I do want to try it before surgery if at all possible. The cataract surgery is done at an outpatient surgical center and I would expect to be there for about two hours. The surgery itself takes about 10 to 15 minutes. When you arrive for surgery, a friendly nursing staff will take you by the hand and get you all ready for surgery. They'll start by putting some drops in your eyes to get your eye dilated and to make it numb. Once you're all prepared for surgery, I will talk with you in the preoperative area to go, go over our lens choices and to remind you what you can and can't do during the surgery. During the surgery, you will be awake, but you will be relaxed. They will give you some relaxing medication through the IV so that you're nice and relaxed. Similar to that of a colonoscopy, if you've ever had a colonoscopy. During the surgery, I will clean, it, clean off the eye before the surgery, and then we will put a drape over your eye to keep everything clean. Once that drape is over your eye, you're not going to be able to reach up and touch anything. And then all you do is you look at a really bright light, and that's all you can see. A lot of patients report having a fantastic light show during the surgery. So you will not be able to tell what I'm doing, you just see a really bright light. After the surgery, we will go over all of your post-operative instructions and help you learn how to take care of your new eye. The typical recovery for cataract surgery is that the day of the surgery, your eye will feel scratchy and irritated and blurry and it is not uncommon for the vision to get blurrier as the day goes on. After that, at day one, typically patients are starting to see pretty well. Sometimes it can take a few days, rarely weeks, and very rarely it will take months for their vision to totally come around. We typically will have you use a couple of drops after the surgery to help prevent infection and to help your eye heal. You will also wear an eye patch over your eye anytime you sleep for a week. However, if you are awake and alert, you do not need to wear that shield. You do need to take extra care not to rub or bump your eye or to get your eye dirty for the week after the surgery. Now, cataract surgery is an extremely safe surgery. It is the most commonly performed surgery in the United States. However, it still is a surgery, so complications can occur and there are risks with this surgery. The one that we fear the most is that of an infection. An infection is extremely rare, but if it does happen, it can cause you to lose your vision. There are other complications that can occur during surgery that could require us to do further surgery to try to fix. Those are also extremely rare. There's an extremely rare complication of a hemorrhage or a bleed behind your eye, which could also cause you to lose your vision. The more common things that happen is that you can get some swelling in your eye from surgery and whenever there's swelling in the eye, the vision is going to be blurry. Typically, this swelling goes away within a couple of days. Sometimes it can take weeks and rarely even months to go away. The last thing to know is that once you've done cataract surgery, you will never have to do cataract surgery again. The lens will be there for the rest of your life and you'll never develop another cataract. Frequently, however, it can feel like you're getting another cataract, but that is just a film that grows over the back of that lens and I have a laser in our clinic that can easily take care of that film without any pain or discomfort, and it only takes a couple of minutes. This is a quick synopsis of what to expect with cataract surgery and things to think about when it comes time for you to have your cataract surgery done. I am happy to answer any questions at any time, before, after, or during the surgery even, to help you feel comfortable with this process.